I solemnly swear, it ain't a part of me fair This the first pick of the draft, it's my lottery year The dough stacking it quick, the chrome packed in the clip Bitch, I'm still pulling up with the boat matching the whip Long live Nick, he got clapped in a Hummer Then I went to job course, said I'll be back in the summer The very next week, I lost three of my men's Still had a baby face, can I see you again? Okay Free low, he ran a million dollar trap spot When the feds came, they found a stove and a laptop It's the V-A-D-A, I got beef with the feds in the Desperado style gun in the briefcase And the fans been asking my release date Never took a week break V-A-D-A -A. I got beef with the fans in the D-A Bow, bow, bow You already know what's hitting for If you didn't know it's your man Vada Fly Tell your mama I said hi Tell your sister I missed it Shout out to the subscribers That notification gang Etc, etc Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you you know who I be, follow me on IG, subscribe to the channel if you respect the handle, shout out to my brother, Showtime SP and everybody who watches this content, whether religiously or in passing, you know what I'm saying, get your shit straight and check out the mixtape, when you start rapping like that, we had about 12,000 streams all independently, shout out to everybody who's listened to it, played it, reposted it, put it on their Instagram story, Twitter, sent it to someone else and all of that and all of that, well, let's just get right to what's going on today, you know what I'm saying, I had seen an interview yesterday, Today with a uh, Hitman Holla, Murder Mook, and it was Murder Mook actually speaking about Hitman Holla and why he wouldn't do the event or the battle with him on bags and bodies. You know? Bags and bodies in the first place. That's the entire thing where he was making it. People didn't understand was if me and you gonna do something together, I'm not putting it on equity and bags and bodies. Their platform, we could we could do a one off and we could do it and we could put it out on our, ourselves. But you want me to put it, to, to go put it on bags and bodies, put equity in your company, murder move battle, you gonna have my likeness forever. Wait, stop the motherfucking music. You, are you dumb? You could do whatever you wanna do with that likeness and me not get the money from that? Or, or we not split you out your mind? <laughs> they, they ain't gonna come up to me with no shit like that. They, I ain't, they ain't gonna break no deals to me like that. Hmm. They never know what I might say on the camera. So you know, I was. Watch your mind, but he never said that. He just, yo, I offered to do this for more. Not, not, not put it on bags and bodies. All I said was, we not putting it on bags and bodies, bro. We doing it on our own shit. I'm not helping your fucking, your, your league. Unless you gonna pay me a one time down payment, which was 200,000. That's what I said, 200,000. And then you can own all the footage and everything after. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yo, I'm not in the business of building up nobody else's league. And I told Hitman that I needed my percentage and do the, but, the, but everything that murder movie talking about. You know what I'm saying? So when I break down every round that I've sketched about, there's nothing slicker than the tools in the Rusty Shed House. So I had tweeted yesterday, I said, it's crazy how Murder Mook don't want to be in a position to help build Hitman's league, but Murder Mook doesn't own a league. He doesn't have a league. He doesn't have a platform. He doesn't have a camera. He doesn't have microphones. He doesn't have a website. Murder Mook don't even got a website. That's the thing. I've always stated this when it came to like battle rap rappers and their marketing and things like that. And that's why I'm proud and I'm happy to be in school pursuing my MBA in marketing. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like once you can push a product, whether that be yourself or you know whether it's a company or whatever you got going on, you can put yourself way, way, way further ahead than the next person because at the end of the day, you're selling something. Me having you, the tens and thousands of people that watch this content, it is being marketed because you want to hear the opinion about what I got to say about a certain subject. So I'm listening and I'm like, all right, you're missing the point. Like, if Hitman's offering you a dollar amount or 50% of the pay-per-view or whatever you guys have agreed to everything after that as far as where the battle goes and things like that that's him man because it's his league when you battle on URL the, the fucking footage is there like, you have there on the app <laughs> you know what I'm saying you, you don't get to fucking decide what happens after you do the service that I paid you for if I contract you to do a job, you do the job, and then that's the end of the job. Life goes on, but you know, Murder Mook, he likes the, uh, often, Murder Mook, and he's not the only person, battle rappers like to sound smart to dumb niggas, you know what I'm saying? So they'll say something, and then when you look under, like a layer below, you're thinking like, okay, well if that wasn't the situation, well first you said this, that you were battling, and it gotta be this percent, and that guy, and then he said, 
in order to do it he asked hitman for two hundred thousand if he wanted to do it and hitman basically was like hell no because let me tell you something First of all, there ain't no battle rap. There ain't no, there's literally like no battle right now that I can think of that's worth 200,000. You'll be hard pressed to find $100,000. Surf come out, he asks you something like that. He can get it. He's been going five years, et cetera, et cetera. It is different. But niggas that's here battling every week, y'all niggas battle every month. What the fuck would they pay you? <laughs> Why is somebody who got that kind of money gonna pay it to niggas who battle every week? Shit, we just had Cassidy no show a card. This is basically a no show at this point. He ain't gave the money back. He ain't really said nothing about it. I ain't heard nothing about it. It's another one of them things that when them bullpen things be happening. Nigga don't show up or battle don't happen or Mr. Fab ain't buy the flights and all that other goop shit that be happening. You know what I'm saying? Like that was some wild shit that happened with Mr. Fab. But now you got Cass. Cass then said, I'm good. He may, who knows when, this nigga ain't tweeted this nigga. What kind of sickness does this nigga got? What kind? But anyway, back to Mook. So Mook was basically, Highlighting the fact that he don't want to help build Hitman's platform. Hitman's platform is doing fine. If you go to, uh, this is how you can tell the strength in how somebody's uh, platform is doing. I go to Bags and Bodies on um, YouTube. They got 99,000 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Hitman has a, a, a face off with 500,000 versus, well, 435,000 versus Geechee. He's got a he's got a, a fifty thousand with Snake Eyes versus J Two. He's got seventy five thousand with Twerk versus Big K. He's just a face off. These ain't even the battles. So when you look at what he's got going on, he had an interview addressing Murder Mook. You know what I'm saying? That was a good one. He should have never said that bar. And Mook, the type of person that'll discredit you and then try to downplay how he discredit you. Mind you, we had no, never had no back and forth, never had no misunderstanding. That was the first time he ever just flat out. He's got that. So he's got that interview where he addressed Murder Mook that has a uh, 263,000. So I don't think Hitman needs help per se building his platform, but <laughs> even if he what like like he's already up there. He's way 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 up there in his career. You was gonna get the same thing that Gucci got. He got. A face on the flyer, a battle that's promoted, and the shit with a drop. Hitman's been doing phenomenal promotion with Geechee Gotti. Hitman was on Bar Nuz on I-95. Geechee Gotti was just on fucking Hot 97. Uh, they're promoting it well. Everybody's talking about it. November 9th is in a lot of our minds. A lot of you niggas' cars is going on every week. There's a car every motherfucking week. Car, 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 car. I may see some. I may not. But who knows? I will see what's going on on November 9th. When so many, other, when so many people is trying to sell the same product, I gotta buy the best of them products, you know what I'm saying? I'm not getting everybody's card, I told y'all. I ain't paying for every nigga card, because every nigga card ain't cut the same, you know? Even in your, in where you from, where you live, do you go to every single club? <laughs> do, <laughs> if your city got 10 clubs, do you go to every club every weekend? No, you may just go to the one that fits your needs and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Some people may go to a restaurant that's 20 minutes out the way because they got the food that I like. There's restaurants in my neighborhood, but I'm gonna go they got the food that I like. Um, yeah, Mook, I like what you're saying, you know what I'm saying? I like as far as like your competitive nature and things like that, but it's a little delusion involved when you feel like you're helping build his league. Now, I know y'all might not trust each other, y'all really don't fuck with each other, so you know the business mate, that's really what it is. They don't really like each other as far as the business is concerned. But Hitman's the one with the league. And that's the reason why I be telling niggas, when you build your own platform, nobody can take it away. This is my YouTube channel. I can release a video whenever I want. If I don't want to release a video for a week, I don't have to. And nobody's gonna make you do it because you've built your own infrastructure. What does that lead to? If I want to drop a mixtape, I got my own platform. I can start my own label. I can drop my own music. It goes to Spotify, Apple, Tidal, uh, uh, fucking YouTube Music, Shazam, uh, fucking Instagram, Twitter. It gets spread out to all these different platforms, but it's based off a platform that me and my constituents have built ourselves. You know what I mean? So all I'm saying, if you don't like what's going on out here, start your own league. That's an option too, you know? A lot of people want what comes with the leagues, but the work that it takes to build them is what motherfuckers is not gonna do. ARP ain't out here just giving everybody a percentage of his pay-per-view or letting them own the footage and all of that. I know. <laughs> 
Ain't no way in hell ARP would have got to where he got just giving niggas giving be giving nah, 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 that ain't gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Um would the, could the battle have happened between Hitman and, and Mook on URL? I'm sure. But I'm sure Smack is not interested. The money ain't coming back, Shen. He ain't not interested in paying you niggas $100,000 a piece and all this other shit for the event to get bootlegged and never to be on YouTube. Who's doing that? <laughs> so, Mook, $200,000 is out of here. That, that notion to even think that Hitman, them niggas ain't paying you $200,000. $200,000 to do what? You gotta stop that shit. Shout out to Murray Mook, but yeah, we're not doing that. Uh, Bars Over Politics URL, November 3rd. You know what I'm saying? It's going down. It's pay per view on the app. You know, I think it's, what is it? $60 for non subscribers, $45 for app members. You know what I'm saying? So you can see uh, Miss Hustle vs. Fawns, T Top vs. Jerry West, Tay Rock vs. Chef Trez, Rum Nitty vs. Real Sick, Hollow the Don vs. JC. I'll start with Hollow the Don vs. JC because that's what you niggas want to hear me talk about regardless. You know what I'm saying? Hollow the Don vs. JC. JC got all the bars, you know what I'm saying? The punch at the punch, the punch, the punch, the repetitive lines to win this battle. But Hollow damn near got everything else, whether it's the intangibles, the rebuttal ability, the freestyle ability, the energy, uh, the promotion. Hollow, I didn't even, I don't even, <laughs> Hollow's promoting this battle at a high level. He don't even really be promoting much. But I see him out on Twitter, he on Instagram, he dropping video, he doing all type of shit. Hollow's in his bag promoting for this battle. And I think that it should be. Uh, a, a clash that we would like to see. I'm gonna see Hollow versus JC because this is it's a it's got nostalgia to it, and like I said, JC is a line for line king. But I'd be feeling like when the when the pressure gets to the highest level, JC sometimes not every single time does not take it to the level where the superstar opponent, a, a la AKA when he battles Sue Surf. But I've seen him go on bigger stages and beat. Pretty good opponents like a Rum Nitty, Chess 2, and some other battles. But Hollow has done it at the highest level. You know what I'm saying? Him versus Tate Rock. Uh, that was a really high level battle on a big stage. Um, and he's had some others too. So for me going into it, uh, I, can, I can see why JC would win, but I would probably. I'd probably go 2 1 Hollow. Um, just because the entertaining factor, when you're putting in uh, North Carolina, they usually have bigger stages. And in those bigger stages, you got to be able to win them road, them road games. A lot of motherfuckers can win these little small rooms when there's 15 people in there and fucking Nunu and, and 10 other people in the room. A lot of people can win those. But when you put two, 300 people in the building and you put heckling from the crowd and you put a lot of these other intangibles in, it takes a certain level MC to get by. Uh, JC's nice. JC can win this. I'm going Hollow 2 1. Rum Nitty versus Real Sick. I know Real Sick wanted to start a battle, higher level competition. He ain't want to be battling niggas from the Midnight Madness crew and all this shit that he was battling back in the days. He want to battle bigger names. Battle Charlie Clips, battle some more bigger names. He got Rum Nitty. I just don't bet against Rum Nitty at this point in his career because Rum Nitty don't fucking lose. He damn near wins every battle. It's very hard for me to pick a bunch of battles that I got Rum Nitty losing. I got Rum Nitty 2-1, Chef Trez versus Tay Rock. Could be 2-1 either way. I don't think Rock is going to have them 28-minute rounds and shit because, you know, he fuck with Chef Trez, Cave Cave type shit. Chef Trez is good at rebuttaling. Uh, this should be a pretty good battle. I got a 2-1 either way. T-Top versus Jerry West in Carolina. I got T-Top 2-1. Jerry West is nice. He got the, the moments and shit like that. Will be good. Uh, Miss Hustle versus Fonz. Give me Fonz 2-1. It is what it is. Uh, pretty good card. I sh it should be. It's going down. But uh, it's Halloween. Y'all be safe out there. Make sure you know. Take care of your kids. Uh, you know, when my kids go out trick or treating later. I go out too. You know what I'm saying? I definitely. Hey, listen. This world is a little too crazy to be letting the kids go outside. You know what I'm saying? On their own. You know what I'm saying? In this environment, because the motherfuckers that be out there, everybody, everybody that's out there, don't be out there for you. You know what I'm saying? And don't be out there for your kids either. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Get my shit together so I can go ahead and get ready to head out, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, you got to understand trick. Love the kids, you know what I'm saying? I love the kids, you know what I'm saying? Take care of my kids and make sure that I uh, take them out, trick or treat, let them see, uh, you know, the neighborhood, pick up some candy. And the thing is, you know what I'm saying? The, the one good thing as a parent, you can, uh, I could get candy too, you know what I'm saying? Like when my kids, they get the candy and stuff like that, we gotta go through it. And when I go through it, I get the first dibs, you know what I'm saying? I get the first dibs or whatever's good or whatever I like. You know what I'm saying? And, and I get my little candy too. You know what I'm saying? My um 
I got my little dinosaur joint, you know what I'm saying? It's a little breezy outside, so we'll go ahead and walk around the neighborhood in a few. And uh, shout out to everybody out there. I hope all is well, you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas stay up and don't miss the layup. <laughs> Solemnly swear, it ain't a part of me fair. This the first pick of the draft, it's my lottery year. The dough stacking it quick, the chrome packed in the clip. Bitch, I'm still pulling up with the boat matching the whip. Long live Nick, he got clapped in a Hummer. Then I went to job course, said I'll be back in the summer. The very next week, I lost three of my men's. Still had a baby face, can I see you again? Okay. Free low, he ran a million dollar trap spot. When the feds came, they found a stove and a laptop. It's the VADA, I got beef with the feds in the D. Desperado style gun in the briefcase And the fans been asking my release date Never took a week break V-A-D-A I got beef with the fans in the D-A